Alright, so here's what you need to set up your rock band kit as a musical instrument through MIDI with no lag. Um, so here's my rock band kit. Uh, first of all, you need the Xbox 360 wireless receiver, uh, it's USB receiver, and then you need some softwares, which um, currently I'm using FL Studios as my host program. Um, for audio um, and then for the interface to interface the controller to the audio software I'm using RB2 MIDI if you need to download it just google it and you'll find it and then you actually have to link that to another software which is called loop be one it's a free software google it and then I'll show you how to set it up real quick and then you run that software into your digital audio workstation. So first of all, um, after you get the wireless uh, receiver connected to your computer and get the drivers properly installed to where it recognizes it, sync your controller up to uh, the wireless device and then you'll install the RB2 MIDI software which looks like this and once it's installed first go to input and it should show um, controller Xbox 360 for Windows right there if you can see it yeah, it's kinda blurry um, and then you select that for your input for output you're gonna select loop BE internal MIDI that's the other software I just spoke of and select your MIDI channel it doesn't matter what channel you use here as long as you use the same MIDI channel on the digital audio workstation and then of course you will have the, the pads and everything um, you can configure them the way you like to. It supports double pedals. You can either use the second pedal as a second kick or hi-hat control. And then, um, so, then you install the Loop BE software, which, there's not really much to it. Once it's installed, it just automatically runs. And then, um, the digital audio workstation of your choice, which, as I said, in this case, I'm using FL Studios, uh, Producer Edition 10. And, whoops, I shouldn't have launched the second version of that. Okay, anyways. Um, what the heck happened? Okay. There we go. So, let's close that one. Alright, so here's the one that I got up and running. And then, um, you don't actually have to use audio addictive drums. I just use it because it sounds real realistic. But you can actually link it with any sampler. And all you got to do and FL Studios to get your MIDI working. Let's go to Options, MIDI Settings. Select the uh, Loop BE Internal MIDI. Click Enable. Select your channel, of course. And here's the finicky part. Oh yeah, I forgot to, to mention one more software that you need. It's called ASO for All. Also a free software. Google it. And that's where it gets a little tricky because that's where you control the latency issue. Because originally, when I had it installed before, there was so much latency that I couldn't really play. It kept messing me up. But after a little bit of, you know, figuring out, you know, the proper settings and whatnot, I was able to get it working. And as you can see, it has very little latency to no latency. So, yeah, there you have it.